Hello, how is everyone today? I'm so tired I want to cry. Apparently, exhaustion must be somehow tied to the chemicals in your brain because I have just felt like crying all day because I'm so tired. Um, but this this uh, Facebook Live is for all my uh, moms out there. Uh, and okay, for the dads too, but <laughs> mainly for, um, you know, these moms of little kids that, you know, their needs just, they just keep needing us. It's just crazy. They just, um, they don't stop. And they have an unending amount of energy. And um, there's no rest for the weary when you need it most a lot of times. But, so I'm here to encourage you. And I am here uh, to hear your encouragement that I'm not alone. And what I'm going to do to try to make it for the rest of the afternoon is I'm getting my, my tea out. I what know it's terrible. It's not a primary source of energy, Megan, my nutritionist friend. Is this? It's a secondary source. What is that? Is that apple juice? That helpful juice? You found my secret stash. I've been trying to keep juice away from them. Yes, this is apple juice. I can be awesome. You just had chocolate milk at Honey's house. What? So, um, so yeah, so this is just a live, just, just showing you daily life here and just, um, just, just trying to encourage people out there that might be doing the same thing. Mary Kay, you were up seven times with your kid last night. Oh, see, I knew there was going to be somebody else out there. See, I'm walking through the laundry clothes. Don't pull on my, my arm, Jude. Stop. Uh, Jude, talk. Tell me what you need. That Christmas tree. Jude really wants a Christmas tree. Um, to decorate for Halloween. So Papa is going to um, um, get his theirs down um, a um, um, a beat up one, a small one. Uh, Mary Kay, I knew that there was going to be somebody else the out there that just needed to be encouraged today because I needed to know that somebody else was up a lot last the night. Y'all, I had strawberry Merry Christmas. That's awesome. Buzz strawberry Christmas. The Strawberry Christmas? Yes. That sounds like a, an amazing children's book that is yet to be written. Hazel, 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 Hazel. That is natural apple juice, so it has to be shaken, not stirred. Let me hear. Let me see that. Um, it's got to be shaken because it's got some of the fruit in there. You won't, you won't taste it, so don't freak out. Um, okay, so last night in our bedroom, there were seven people sleeping in there. Seven? Oh, yes, seven. How? How? Well, you each decided to one by one come into our room and but, sleep but, but in there. But we don't have seven. We don't have seven people. We have only six. No, we have seven. There's seven now. We How? had we had another kid. Uh, five plus two equals. I don't know. Two parents and five kids. Oh yes, yeah, seven. Yeah. Seven. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. There's some um, apple juice there. Um, yeah, um, Hazel came in our room at 3.30, um, and she had gotten her little sister, her one of her little sisters, Evangeline, out of her crib and brought her into our room, and Jude had already come to sleep with us. He was in between me and John, and then Hazel crawls up in between me and Jude, and then Evangeline, I think, was on the other side of John, <laughs> and um, Titus was on the floor, and Esther was in her little rock and play right next to us, and I, me and John just started to laugh because we're like, I said, John, all of our children are in our bedroom. So anyway, yeah, Mary Kay, it was not a restful night why, for us either. But I'm here to cheer you on and anybody else who needs to be cheered on today, especially those of you who are taking care of little children. But, 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 uh, are you? Who's Mary Kay? Mary Kay is our friend from church, from Marley Marshall. Okay, um, Jude, stop. This is what he's insisting on doing touching me right there in the crevice of my arm and that freaks me out <laughs> it's an OCD thing he has to do but let's find something else <laughs> let's find another OCD thing to do here Jude okay that's not 
No, I don't want you to do that. Um, so yeah, um, I'm cooking a lot more. I mean, y'all thought I cooked a lot before. Well, we had a lot of cold breakfasts. Um, we did lots of cereal and fruit. And now pretty much we're Malt cooking. Ah, oh, don't pull on my finger. Um, yeah, we did multi meal this morning. No, because we're doing this new diet with Jude, everything pretty much has to be made from scratch, which I know sounds like a nightmare to some of you, but it really is a lot of fun. I, I enjoy cooking, but it is exhausting. So, um, oh, Miranda, that was very sweet. Um, hey, hey, guys. Hey, listen, y'all each get some of the sand and both play with it at the same time. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, so I'm cooking like three times a day, like almost full meals. You need to lay on your bed right now because Hudson is coming over later and you need to be rested. So go lay on your bed, okay? And he is spinning the knot. That's their cousin, Hudson. Um, hey, Titus, just for a little bit, I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes and I'll come get you, okay? Well, you know why I was doing this? <laughs> because. Okay. Hey, Rosa. Uh, okay, go in there. Go in there right now and lay on the bed for just 15 minutes. The crying, the crying. Fortunately, I do have two children down for naps right now and they did cooperate. But um, I think just the crying is emotionally exhausting, mentally exhausting. Probably a better choice of words. Um, so yeah, I'm tired from um, doing three full-fledged meals a day. I'm tired because nobody picks up their stuff around here. And actually, that floor, that floor looks pretty dang good because, well, over here, you didn't see this. Why does everybody drop their stuff on the floor? Which actually, hey, I'm being a hypocrite right now because... That apron down there, that's mine, and it's on the floor. I probably sat down to nurse, and then I just dropped it and left it on the floor. It's like if I don't keep up with putting things away constantly all day long, it's like some fast-growing fungus. It just grows and completely out of control so quickly. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm really... I'm really tired today and and it gets to me emotionally like I just I feel I don't know I think it's the thought that like I really want to sit down but I know that I can't and so I'm having to be mentally strong and so then my patience is it's like I, it takes more mental strength and more emotional strength to be Mama, more patient with the kids um, and then I don't know I guess it's just being a woman look at this. you just look at this you respond to exhaustion Look with tears. Look at this, everybody. That's really nice. Oh, and we're homeschooling, so that's intense. They already know that. Yeah, I know, but just reminding everyone. Um, nice. Yeah, Carrie agrees. It's a fast-growing fungus here. But, yeah, so I'm going to take, a, <laughs> I guess, a pill or something. I'm going to drink my, um, my tea. And I think it will kick in here, and uh, um, and then I want to get back to it. So we went over to my parents' house for a little break at lunch. Um, I tried to lay down, and about 10 minutes into it, I heard screaming, and I got scared, and I woke up. I mean, I didn't wake up. I got up, and so I didn't lay down. And I think that also is mentally, you know, hard for us as moms, like, if like we go and we think we're gonna rest, we think we're about to get to lay down and have a break, and then it's interrupted by a cry, or it's interrupted by a need. Does anyone else, does that like kind of give anybody else a panic attack? Cause it does for me, cause I start to feel kind of desperate, especially like if I look at the clock and I go, oh yeah, it's, we still have another nine hours to go. Am I the only one too that like kind of does a countdown throughout the day? That sounds really, really terrible, but, um, I do a mental countdown in my head all day long of when my kids are going to go to bed. And it's not that I don't enjoy them. I really do. I absolutely love my kids. My kids are a challenge, though, too. And um, I don't want to be anywhere else but right here. I love being at home. I love being a mom. But um, I find myself every day kind of doing a countdown. 
all day long like okay 11 more hours 10 more hours <laughs> and then I also do the countdown of when John is gonna come home okay so it's about two hours and 20 minutes he will be home okay good other people are also doing a countdown I'm glad to know that um, laundry let's talk laundry so um, how the heck do you get that done here's my Good Shepherd teacup here I've gotten about three of these things since I just keep popping babies out uh, let's see here what are you guys saying uh, oh yeah yeah like when you sit down and you try to eat that's the worst you know sometimes I just tell myself not sometimes pretty much every time we sit down to eat it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen when the food's hot and just kinda be okay with it and just just accept it so um, okay so laundry yeah so I'm just trying to do a little bit every day um, my hardest thing about laundry is yes I have a Mount Everest here too Taylor um, who's Taylor she's a friend of mine um, oh man see I knew I was gonna be encouraged everybody else is saying that their laundry is piled up thank you thank you for being honest and telling me that because I feel like I have to choose either I do school and we get it done and the house falls apart or we do school all day long on and off and I kind of might maintain the house I don't know which is better this morning it was pretty hard to just sit and do school for about for about an hour and a half or maybe less than that actually it felt a lot longer but with laundry I think you just have to do a little bit every day but my hardest part is getting it folded and put away and especially because I have a sensory kid and he likes to just get in the laundry and spread it around everywhere um, so yeah there's that oh let me tell you a little trick I've learned <clears throat> that's really helping me so um, I meal plan um, a lot of you know that if you follow me on Facebook um, but this is something I started doing so I've got a calendar right let's see here right here there you go and I actually put on my calendar the three meals that we are going to do every single day so it's all backwards here but as you can see it's all written out so I've gotten into the habit now where I wake up and I've already planned out all my meals I come to this calendar and I see what we're eating for this day and I also look at what we're uh, going to be eating the next day so that I know what meats to pull out because I don't have an instapot so I know that instapot would solve all that for me but I, I don't really want one because this is working for me um, <clears throat> anyway so this has just been awesome this has taken a huge stressor off of me of having to get up and try to think about what to cook every day instead I know it's here um, I know the ingredients are here I know what we're gonna do for breakfast lunch and dinner and um, so yeah that's that has been a huge stress reliever for me um, and just kept me you know um, on top of stuff so but you know hey I'm not gonna talk to you guys for too much longer because I've got to start doing my laundry and I will read your comments later it's so hard for me to talk and read comments at the same time I'm not ignoring you I mean I am but I will come back to that I did tell him that you already did school and I'm so proud of you Hazel did really good with school today yeah and 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 Jude kind of like vicariously does school through Hazel so he's kind of like come and go come and go um, and we are we're still trying to figure that out but um, but Jude is learning a whole whole lot here at home um, not academically per se but he's learning some very um, wonderful skills that are going to last him a lifetime so um, anyway so but I'm got, but I just I just wanted to come on here and just kind of say hey I'm tired hey tell me I can do it and you guys did and y'all are awesome and it gives me so much purpose in what I'm doing and y'all just relit my flame and you know what I haven't even taken a sip of my tea yet and y'all are just that awesome so um, but I hope you're encouraged today if you're tired if you're working if you're at home wherever you are keep your eyes on the goal and, and don't give up and just know that um, <laughs> everything we do when we belong to the Lord God we do it for him we do it for him and um, 
So try not to keep score today with your spouse. That's something that God has been convicting me of. Because I, I keep a mental scoreboard in my head like, well, I've done this and I've changed this many dirty diapers and I've gotten up this many times. So now it's your turn, your turn. And I just, I really want to get out of that mentality. Because, well, first of all, my husband does an, an insane amount of stuff here. I mean, like probably more than most men do. Um, but I want to encourage you, let's not keep score in our marriages and let's just do it all unto the Lord Jesus, you know, for him. Because when we're doing it for him, there's no, I cooked you three meals and washed all your clothes today and the least you can do is say thank you or pick up your stuff because I've been there more than I want to admit. But when I do it unto the Lord, then I don't need payback. I don't need, I don't even need appreciation. I mean, I really, really want appreciation, but I don't have to have it when it's unto the Lord. Okay, so y'all have an awesome day, and thank Wait, you for being so great. And don't do what? Uh, I just hit it. Um, so don't forget to check out our Kickstarter and our Patreon and go to those links that we shared on our page. And um, on my. No, not Wooten.com, but that would be cool if we had that. Um, go to my Facebook profile, and you can find those links there yep. hey, and give us um, $100. <laughs> give us a hundred dollars oh hazel you know way too much okay so yeah we yeah, are raising Ellen. we're raising support for to build a uh, recording studio upstairs so we can record and produce music from home and also to raise monthly support to have jude jude john at home i'm tired can you tell i'm tired uh, John at home to record and produce our music, podcast, and vlogs because uh, we really want to expand our ministry and um, just reach more people, encourage more people. Um, have a wonderful day. It's the weekend, but that means nothing to mothers. <laughs> but, you know, we can still pretend, right? Bye. Have a great Friday.